This is Roy Ayers, and you're watching Living the Hustle. Come on, Roy, brother. Uh -uh. It, it made me feel uh, uh, very comfortable. I felt very good that, that the hip hoppers uh, liked my music. I asked uh, one of the hip hoppers, uh, why did they like my music? And he said it's because of the sound. And why did they sample my music? They said because of the sound. And, and uh, my sound is the analog sound. That's why I was originally using analog um, equipment in the studio. And so, um, uh, matter of fact, the. Uh, 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 hey, hey, what's that guy's name? From uh, High Call Question? Q Tip. His name was Q Tip. And he kissed me on the forehead. And he said, You're the, you're the man. I said, you, You're a good brother. Thank you. Well, first of all, ubiquity means a state of being everywhere at the same time, like omnipresence, like the air. And of course, I, I thought about the title uh, with reference to my music. If my music is everywhere, then I could be ubiquitous. And that's it, the name of the group was Roy Ayers Ubiquity. And people would say, are you Roy Ayers Ubiquity? I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. Roy Ayers Ubiquity. So I kind of like gave myself a new, a new last name. Uh, I don't have a favorite, but I like them all because um, they sample my music. I got more samples than anybody. I got more sample hits than anybody. Uh, I think James Brown has more sample, sample songs, but I got more sample hits than anybody in the music industry. And uh, I didn't do research on it. The, the, the industry did their research on it. And I felt very, very, very good about that. Uh, so uh, the music is continuing to change and it will go somewhere else even after hip hop. And I hope that I can find out what it is so I can do it before they do it. But, you know, it, that's the way music is. It always changes. It always, always makes some nice, beautiful changes, especially for the young people. And that's why I, I admire most about it. I believe so. I believe so because uh, that's what happened. Uh, it, it has happened to me and it's a wonderful thing to have had it happen to me. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing for anybody to see that happen to them. So it's uh, really, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's incredible. I, I, I'm enjoying it and, uh, and, and I'm getting paid for it too, so, which is wonderful. Sample my music. Because if you sample my music, you go somewhere as most of the hip hoppers that have sampled it are going somewhere. You know, I mean, uh, from P. Diddy to Russell Simmons to, to uh, Tribe Called Quest to Brad Nubian to Will Smith to you name them. I mean, make up to, to uh, Mary J. Blige to, to uh, Jill Scott, all of them. I mean, my goodness, Alicia Keys, everybody. It's, it's incredible, so I just, it's, I'm having a ball, man. This is wonderful. I had no idea that this was gonna happen to me. It didn't happen until the late 1980s, around 84, 85, and it's been happening since then, it's still happening. And I did not try to solicit any of them. I just played my music and put the records out through Polydor or whoever it was, and they started sampling. I said, this is wonderful. And then when my kids said, Daddy, I heard your song on radio today, I said, what song? And they told me what song it was. I said, the God is good. <laughs> That's right. It's wonderful. So it, you know, it, it, it just it happens like that. So it's a, if, if it can happen to anybody out here to get your music sampled by the young hip hoppers and the samplers, <clears throat> that's wonderful. Just enjoy. It.